In India today, of course, tracking all the latest coming in from different political parties in Bihar. And let's get you what's really played out in the RJD meeting in Patna. Inside scoop here on India today, sources telling us that Lalu is ensured all RJD MLAs remain in Patna for the moment. And he's told them clearly, do not shut off your phones. RJD MLAs have been asked uh, to be prepared for any situation. But uh, the uh, instruction is clear. They've been told at no point to switch off their phones to ensure they're always in touch with the high command. Also being done to ensure right now that there's no question of uh, any of them jumping ship. That concern arises if their phones are switched off. And that's why Lalo has told all of them to be available to the high command and for the moment to remain in Patna. With the situation being as fluid as it is right now and unpredictable essentially for the RJD, Lalo believes that having the MLAs in Patna for an urgent huddle is also extremely crucial. Polami Saha is joining us with more details on this. Uh, Polami, Lalu telling his MLAs all to remain in Patna and to remain in touch with the high command, perhaps fearing uh, that there could be some attempts at poaching RJD MLAs as well. That's right. The RJD, of course, is trying to keep its flock uh, together. They do realize uh, that, you know, the JDU and the BJP are moving very fast in terms of uh, government formation in the state of uh, Bihar. The RJD Legislative Party earlier met today in uh, the presence of uh, Deputy Chief Minister of the State, Tejasvi Yadav, and the legislators decided that was the resolution, of course, uh, of uh, that meeting that Lalu Yadav be authorized to take any final call. Lalu Yadav, of course, has told all the legislators to stay in Patna itself and not to switch off their phones, that they should be available on call any time that the party reaches out to them. Because obviously, if you switch off your phone, then the indication is that you're probably in touch with, uh, you know, a rival faction. And uh, that's exactly why you don't want to be reachable at that point of time, because you're negotiating with a rival faction to jump a ship. So he has made it very categorically clear at that meeting that everyone should be available on the phone if the party High Command wants to reach them. All right, uh, so at this point, the information coming in is that Lalu has asked all MLAs to remain in Patna. I want to bring in Aditya Verbo also, who's been tracking the latest coming in from the RJD camp. Aditya, is there a serious concern within the RJD that some of the MLAs could jump ship? Are you hearing anything about MLAs being in touch? Because there are some Congress MLAs reportedly who are not in touch with the high command, with the leadership. Is there a similar case playing out really in the RJD? Well, exactly. As far as the RJD camp is concerned, of course, they are dotting every I and crossing every T as far as their political moves and maneuvers are concerned. But then, that being said, today they held a meeting of their legislators in which they totally unanimously authorized Lalu Prasad Yadav to take uh, any sort of decision he wants to take as far as the political party and its political alignment is concerned. But then, of course, they'd be keeping a very close eye, a very close watch on what their legislators do because this is the time people will be trying to poach MLAs and this is the time they need to secure their legislators with them. So this is something the RJD camp must be thinking about and also rounds of meetings are being held by uh, all the camps concerned and the stakeholders are technically totally engrossed and involved so as to draw maximum benefit out of this political turmoil. Okay, Aditya and Polami, request both of you to stay on with me. Let's just get our viewers up to speed with all that's happened because this evening we're hearing that there is a possibility of Nitish Kumar actually resigning as Bihar Chief Minister and thereby perhaps putting an end to the political thriller. What does it mean if Nitish Kumar goes ahead and steps down? Tomorrow he could be once again being sworn in as the chief minister, but this time the circumstance is very different. He will be essentially joining hands with the BJP back in the NDA fold. Now, uh, at this point, we're also hearing that the JDU Legislative Party meet will be taking place tomorrow at 10 a.m. Several Congress MLAs could reportedly also be jumping ship, could be joining the BJP, and that announcement could also be made this evening, soon after Nitish Kumar resigns as Chief Minister. Now, reportedly, the BJP will hand over a letter signed by MLAs to Nitish, and Nitish will get BJP support letter by tonight. And it is with that that he will again stay claim to form the government tomorrow. 
Uh, and what exactly is the power formula looking like? Well, the BJP will reportedly get the post of two deputy chief ministers and the speaker's post. And Sushil Modi as well as Renu Devi are the top contenders to be the deputy chief ministers. It's the 2020 formula that essentially is being brought into force, brought into effect in 2024 as well. Now, there have been a series